Hey, we back here on Discord. And I have a quick one today, should be anyway, um, just as uh, an idea that I saw someone talking about in the official Midday server the other day um, that I had not really thought about before. Um, and in case uh, other people maybe hadn't, uh, then it's something to consider. Um, something that I had been doing subconsciously almost, kind of, on here, uh, which is to do with the Kakua Tower. Uh, so if I go into here, I grab dust, you look at his Kakua Tower, you can see it is pretty hefty. He's on his fifth tower now, um, and this is no coincidence, because uh, if you also look on this server, we have no Kakua scraps. Basically, I just gave dust all the Kakua scraps, and he put them into his tower. Rather, I put them into his tower. Um, kind of like a storage, because what you have is the command uh, destroy. All your tower levels will be reset, and a total of that will be refunded. Command has a cooldown of 20 hours per player. I'm not going to destroy my tower, um, but uh, because this is not an admin command, like with badges, you can do this yourself. So, you can store Kakura in your tower and you can get it back any time. So I was doing this on dust here, just as like Kakura scraps. I could take some Kakura out of his tower if I wanted at some point and use it as Kakura scraps, because of course dust doesn't actually play on this server, dust is my ult and dust doesn't do anything. Um, just a bank for Kakura scraps. I thought it was funny at the time. Um, but you can do this on any server you like, right? Uh, you don't need permissions for it, or anything like that. So, first of all, um, you can just, if you've got spare Kakua that you're not spending right now, you can just put it into your tower, and then get it back later with a destroy. Now, here's where it gets interesting. If we have a look at uh, the KLs, these level 100 upgrades, they are super good. Yeah, everyone can agree on that. Once you get up to level 100, your KLs are going to be very nice. That's what you want to be aiming for. But it costs a total of about 2 million Kakura to max out both of these. That's that's like a lot, you know? And in the meantime, what are you going to spend your Kakura on? Obviously, you've maxed badges already by the time you've got to this point. You can't be spending on the KLs, they're non-refundable, and plus, you need the upgrades first before you start doing the KLs, realistically. So what do you spend them on? You just have to keep your Kakura, right? Store up your Kakura, you can slowly build up these, do like five levels at a time, and then just not spend them on anything, but then you're spending your Kakura, you're not getting anything for it. So here's what you do, right? You put all your Kakura into your tower. And then as, as, as I just showed, when you run destroy, it tells you how much you get. So you keep putting Kakura into your Kakura tower and upgrading it as much as possible. Then when you see that this number has reached 2 million, you destroy the whole thing, upgrade these to max instantly, just like that. And of course, you're going to want a little bit spare because the tower, especially at the start, is really good. And of course, you're going to want to actually use some KLs rather than just getting the upgrades. So maybe you want to wait until you've got 3 million here instead of exactly 2 million. But you get the point, right? If you wait until you've got 3 million, you, you can Thanos snap your tower, upgrade maybe only one or two floors back again, put max into uh, quality and quantity, then do some KLs and then suddenly your upgrades will be significantly better. And the point is, during the time that you were saving up for quantity and quality, your Kakura has not just been wasted on absolutely nothing, either just sitting in the bank or slowly levelling these up over time. Also, it makes it more interesting, because to be frank, upgrading one of these is not that interesting. You don't get anything for that, you know? The number goes up a little bit. Woo! Right? Whereas getting tower stuff is a bit more interesting, you know? Especially since, even once you've got a big tower like Dust's got up there, it's only about 200,000 for him to upgrade a floor. That's not too much in the grand scheme of things, considering that this is 2 million to max out. So, there's that. But then, here's the thing as well. You can take it a step further than that. Let's take a look at badges, right? Let's take a look at badges. Uh, does it say default cost here? Yeah, here we go. Initial cost, 9,000. Initial cost, 7,000. This is more expensive than the first few tower levels. 
Especially since Emerald 4 gets all the way up to 36,000. Yeah, yeah, you're probably going to have the Ruby 4 bonus at this point, and it won't be quite that much. But you see how that is significantly more than a tower? You could use it for badges as well. Okay, I'm saving up for my Emerald badges, especially since Emerald 2 and 3 are awful. What you could perhaps do, you buy Emerald 1, then you start putting money into your tower. And then once you've got enough money in your tower to upgrade Emerald 2, 3, and 4, you destroy the tower. Upgrade Emerald 2, 3, and 4. Right? Because Emerald 2, 3, and 4 combined are probably better than what you had in the tower. Right? Good Emerald 2 by itself might not be. Now that's going to cost you 18,000 capital, which is enough for two floors. You could buy, say, floor 7 and 8. That's better than Emerald 2, I'll tell you that. Right? So you could use it for badges as well. It's a pretty nice idea. And it's something that I hadn't thought about before. Like I say, I put stuff into uh, dust as, say, uh, storage for Kakura scraps. But you can do this yourself, because destroy is not an admin command. And I do think that you will get a lot more bonuses in the long run if you put your Kakura into the tower between actual upgrades, you know, badge upgrades and stuff like that. I think it's plausible, in fact, just never to have Kakura or in, in your bank. Just always, as soon as you have enough to buy a, a floor in the tower, just put it in, which obviously I'm not doing well at here because I have a, a tower to build. There we go, I can build, say, nine. And there we go, now I have very little money in here. And if I decide I want that Kakura back for something, I can just destroy the tower. Now, yes, this has a 20-hour cooldown because, of course, if you could do it all the time, it may be a bit overpowered. Um, now that I'm understanding how the destroy is being used, especially on the official Midday server, uh, where they've clearly figured this out for a while, um, then uh, it, it makes perfect sense that they have the cooldown. Um, I always knew that the cooldown would make sense because it's the same as uh, badges and stuff like that. Um, but yes, this is this is actually uh, a lot more useful than I think uh, than people realise. Uh, being able to store all your Kakarot in the tower. And then, like I say, as soon as you decide you want to buy a badge, get it out again. You know? You're not going to be buying a badge more than once every 20 hours unless you win a, a ton of Kakura from something random. A competition or something, maybe. Maybe reset happened. Um, in which case, maybe you should have thought about that before you <laughs> destroyed the tower the first time, huh? Uh, but yes, I think it's a, uh, a really nice point. Um, and I think it's something that uh, I certainly will be doing on my service in the future um, for badges and especially for chaos. But anyway, I think I've uh, got to the point um, already, so uh, I'll uh, leave this one here. Bye!